Okay, guys, so we're going to string this guy up. So we fish the elastic through the hip because we're going to go around, basically make a circle and then loop this through the top. So basically I just go through here, just fishing it through and then it'll come back up. And you have to make sure that the right leg is with the right leg. So I think this is the way this goes. Put it right through here. So he can sit. And the holes are right there. You just fish the elastic right, right on through. Okay, see the elastic comes out over here. So this looks to be the right way. And then I'll go down here. And this is where you get the uh, S hook. These S hooks, these little guys, they go and hook onto the feet. I like to put the elastic through it first because believe it or not, these are very difficult to get through. And then, then you go back up. See, you put it through like that but give it a, a bit of a tug so you can go right back up so and then you hook it like that okay so then I'm just gonna go right back up the leg and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side so I'm just fishing it right through going right back up I mean this frays a little bit but just don't worry about it if it frays just cut it and always use way more elastic than you really need. So just bring it right back up. Okay, bring it up right here. Okay, now the key is to tie this or hold on to this with, for some reason. Find a way to hold on to it because you have to go through over here. Do you see what I'm saying? You have to fish this guy through. And you cannot let go of this side because it's, a, it's very easy to have to do this all over again. It could unravel. So what I do is I clip this end to something. So I got another black plastic chopstick and I just tied the elastic around it. Um, sometimes I use a hemostat. I cannot find mine right now. So I'm just going to keep going. And the way I work on dolls, um, this took me forever to dye this guy because I kept trying to match um, the, the blue color. And that was just such a waste of time. But I learned a lot from just looking and, and um, doing the research on the kinds of dyes. So the dolls are not going anywhere. So if you're in a hurry to get anything done, then just do it another day. So I'm going to get another S hook here, this one for this foot. And I just clip it around. And this makes it so much easier. You clip it around and then you clip this. And this is gonna be hard because you have to fish this up through here. So that might take some doing, but clipping this through is very easy. You just put it right through there. So now it's clipped on. And now you feed this, so you pull, and you feed it right back through. So it's going to take a little bit of effort here. And this is the hard part of stringing these dolls. But guys, take a look at this color. Oh my gosh, are you guys in love? Are you in love with this color? This is going to take some doing. So I'm just going to have to pull this real wish I had my hemostat here, but I'm going to have to pull it. And this is going to take me a little bit of effort. I'm going to pull it and string this right back up this way. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Just pull as much as I can and go right back up. It's going to be, this is going to be very, very difficult. So just wait for it to show up through here. And now I've got it. Okay. 
So I've got this. So I'm just going to keep going. And basically, I'm reusing the elastic. What I should have done is gotten new elastic, but this guy was a little floppy to begin with, and I was going to tighten it. So I think I can make it all the way through. See, I feel like there's some give. So I'm just going to go. I'm just going to keep going. That took a little bit of an effort to get it through this upper thigh area, but I got it through, and this is quite frayed. But you got to do what you got to do. So I got it through up here, and oh, success. So I am basically, look at that. This is basically, the legs are basically strung up. So now this is the part that is nerve-wracking. You hold on to both ends and then tie the knot. And then look at this, very frayed and because it's been pushing through there's some blue dye there, but I'm fine with all of that. So I'm basically going to tie a very tight knot. See, this is the knot here and then this pulls right through and goes right through to the neck. So, and then this knot stays in the body cavity. You see what I'm saying? This goes right through here. Well, let me show you that. And I have, this is my um, elastic puller thing. <laughs> I got this free from um, one of the doll companies. I think it was Miro Doll. And you can, okay, so I pulled this elastic through. And whenever you need to rest, just put something across to hold the elastic so you don't lose it and then have to do this all over again. So I'm going to pull it through this inner part and go like this, hook onto it. It is really frayed, but hook onto it here and then just pull right up. Okay, pull it up, you see that? Okay. Now this is eventually going to hold the head. So I'm just pulling, I don't want the knotted part coming through. And so I'm gonna put this like this because I'm going to have to set this guy up aside because I want to put the um, hands through. I wanna string the two arms and the hands and everything. So I'm gonna put this guy aside and we'll do that. So we're going to do the same thing that we did with the legs and torso. We have S hooks for the hands and what we're going to do is go through here and fish everything through. We can go right, okay, basically you have to put this right through and go make the same loop. Like, let me show you. This has to go all the way down, up, and then this one goes all the way down, and you tie the knot inside. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to fish this through just exactly the same way that I did with the legs. And this, you notice, is a thinner elastic because... The holes in the arms are smaller. Okay, now I'm down to the S-hook the S hook part. I hook it onto the elastic and then hook it to the hand. Once I was stringing a doll and I put the hands in the wrong spot. Okay. Okay. And then you pull this enough to try to go back up. Okay, so now, see that one trying to come right through? That means I tie a knot and then I put my, oh, I have to get another black chopstick because I'm holding the body together with that other one. Okay, I'm back with another black chopstick. These are just plain, very heavy duty plastic and they're chopsticks. My husband got them. He works um, in downtown Boston near Chinatown. So he was able to pick those up for me. Because I knew they would be perfect for stirring and doing everything. And 
for dyeing and they're very strong so I like those so now I fish this right back through okay so I put this chopstick over here I fish this right on through so I'm going to switch chopsticks I'm gonna tie a knot over here to hold this side oh actually I need more because that might just slip right off okay I'm just gonna take this one off and put it on this so okay so now I'm going to do the same thing over here I'm gonna take these pieces and fish it right on through I have my S hook ready okay so this doing this to um, a BJD isn't difficult is just you have to be methodical and see this is an issue you come across when you're reusing elastics but just keep going and take your time the doll is not going anywhere just take your time and fish it right on through see you really need to pull it like um, I really, when I had my hemostat, it's a lot easier because I would pull it and hold it taut. But I really, since we're moving around the doll room and doing everything like that, I can't find it. But if you don't have it, I mean, I, I mean, you don't really need it. You just have to be very careful. See, I'm holding this tight like this. Got the S hook. Put it on there and then hook onto this hand so that's hooked on and pull tight now we have to go back up the forearm and this is this the tricky part so you try to have it you need to pull it and then you go right back up and just wait for it to show up here that's why you use this the thinner elastic for the arms because it's a very small hole it has to go through but I can almost see it coming through so I really need to pull a little bit tighter and hold on to this and push it right on through because the, the ends are fraying but I'm going to see you see it right there oh it slips back so I'm going to try to grab it okay so I'm going to put this in here so the hand works so now I have I'm almost at the end here guys I can see the finish line so I just have to go through this short side here I'm wondering if this is boring for you guys I'm sorry just wanted to show you the actual process in real time how long it takes to get this thing done it's coming right through I should be able to grab it see there it goes this elastic does have some give so I'm going to loosen this and try to you know pray and hold on to things as I uh, see put it in, if I put it in like that it'll give me some leeway so I can get it through this really short piece here so I'm just pulling Pulling, making sure it goes through and then really trying to pull it through here okay oh my gosh you're almost done so now I try to get my chopstick back out and put this other one okay see now this is the hard part this is where I let go of the chopstick undo this knot here and not these two these two ends so I'm gonna to try to do my I can tell one side is tighter than the other but I really just want to put do a knot and I might not be able to guys I might not be able to do that because one side is way tighter so I'm just going to try to pull on this give me a little pull so I can try to knot this. 
So guys, I've tried to knot it several times. It just wasn't working. So I'm just going to tie a regular knot. I'm just going to tie it many, many times because I don't want this to slip through. But you know what? If it slips through, not the end of the world. I'm able to tie like four knots. Don't think this is going anywhere. It's tight enough. Let's see how it looks. Okay. See, one hand is a little... Okay. Yeah, actually, not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Okay. I'm happy. So we're going to put this here. I'm going to get... There goes the torso. So now I put this... Oh, it's not going to reach. I have to get a different one. I need to get this elastic through the head so I can attach... I mean, I have to get this elastic through the neck so I can attach the head. So I have to get one of these. I have to make one which is skinnier to pull this all the way through. Okay, so I'm going to use this piece of string. You pull the chopstick up a little bit. Put the string through. There is some give on the elastic, so I'm not too worried. This is basically like threading a needle. I just, I'm just going to put some tape at the end here. I think I'm going to tape this end to this and see if I could just lead it up. Just like threading a needle. Just see if I could just lead it up to see if it could go up the neck hole. That's basically what I'm trying to do. Ah, see? Success. Success. So, now, this has come through, and this, I'm going to take out, and I'm going to pull. Ah, look at that. I'm pulling this through, and I'm going to now put this through here. Now, I'm going to cut this string. Okay, so I cut this string. All right, now I put the head on so we can see the full boy. This is so exciting. Now to attach the head, we, the, we need a big S hook because you, you put it like this. <clears throat> Let me show you, excuse me. You put this like this and then you hook it through and then you put the S hook. Now, for that, I'm going to need this guy. <clears throat> See, put it right through, like just like a needle. You hook on to the elastic. You got it. You pull away the chopstick. And now you pull all the way up. All the way up. And put... The S hook through and see where it rests? It rests right on that. And you can take, well, be careful. Let me pull this up so you can take this one out. Look at that resin creaking. It's nice and tight. Look at, oh my gosh, guys. I, I fold that, well, see? In my anticipation and excitement, I'm just pushing that all the way. Now, you hooks on like that and my boy is done success look at him my blue boy look at this Gainsborough is gonna be jealous look at my blue boy oh my goodness I am so excited guys if you have any questions about how to string up a BJD this is an SD boy please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.